Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwai. The short video, I put together a column explaining the difference, very simple, the difference, the difference between, ah. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. I get a lot of questions asked from my patients. What should I take when I'm in pain? Should I take ibuprofen? Should I take acetaminophen? Should I take naproxen sodium? I'm in pain, I don't want to take something, what should I take? My recommendation is always, if you're in pain, please take something, okay? Being in pain means that you're miserable, okay? And we don't want that. However, the use of taking any of these for long terms will cause body damage, whether it be skeletal, whether it be stomach, whether it be GI, whether it be kidney, whether it be liver. So long-term use of these products is not good for the system. However, if you are in pain, please take something. So what's the difference between ibuprofen, acetaminophen, and naproxen, you ask? Well, let's start off with ibuprofen. Ibuprofen goes under the name of either Advil or Motrin. Now the mechanism of action is, it limits the body's production of prostaglandins. What are prostaglandins? Prostaglandins are fatty acids produced in the body that tell the body that I'm inflamed, I have swelling, I hurt, I'm damaged, okay? So what it does, it limits the body's production of prostaglandins. So it also, ibuprofen, you know, reduces the fever, reduces body aches. The main thing about ibuprofen it reduces inflammation. However, the limitations, it works very fast. Not as long as naproxen, okay, but longer than acetaminophen. So this is like the medium type of painkiller. However, the risks of ibuprofen. Now again, any long-term use of any of these will cause the stomach lining damage and GI, and GI upset. Okay, the bottom line. However, with ibuprofen, you're looking at chronic use is toxic to the kidneys. So I always recommend if there is any kidney damage, if there's any kidney problems that you may have, you cannot use ibuprofen because the kidneys are very sensitive to ibuprofen. Also, one thing to note, this is, this, this is also, why, also considered an NSAID. What's an NSAID? NSAIDs are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay, so moving forward, now acetaminophen. This is your Tylenol, okay? The thing about Tylenol, the, act, the exact function, the mechanism is unknown. They don't know how it works, okay? Yes, it does reduce the fever, reduce the body aches, reduces the pain. However, note, it does not reduce the inflammation. It's not marketed to reduce inflammation. The limitations, the thing about acetaminophen, Tylenol, people take it because it's quick acting. It works very quick to the body. However, the risks, same risks as ibuprofen. You're looking at the GI, GI damage, gastrointestinal damage. This is why it's always recommended to take Tylenol with food, okay? However, the big thing about Tylenol, very toxic to the liver. So if you have liver damage, Tylenol is not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Also too, note, it's not considered an NSAID. Tylenol is not considered a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Okay, now moving along. Now naproxen. Now naproxen, otherwise known as Aleve, has the active ingredient naproxen sodium. Now the mechanism of action of naproxen is the same as, is the same as ibuprofen. Again, it inhibits the, uh, the release of prostaglandins. So it reduces the swelling, it reduces the, the pain. Aleve. It's good for headaches, it's good for muscle aches, it's good for menstrual cramps, it's good for arthritis, it's a fever reducer. My recommendation to any type of muscle stuff is to take a leave. This is why when, you're in, when they prescribe you uh, prescription strength, naproxen. It's a little bit more safer to your system. Also too, it does reduce the inflammation, whereas, again, acetaminophen is marketed as not. The limitation, the thing about naproxen, it's slow acting. It doesn't act as fast as the other ones. However, this is longer lasting. The good thing about naproxen, this is why they recommend it more over Tylenol or ibuprofen, is the fact that it lowers the risk of heart attacks or strokes. So Aleve is a little more safer to the system. 
Now, the risks, just like the other ones, you, again, extensive use will cause stomach uh, damage. The lining of the stomach can be damaged. The lining of the digestive system will, will be damaged. So again, long-term use is, is strictly not recommended. And also too, note, it's an NSAID. So to summarize, Ibuprofen and Aleve are safer to the system. However, ibuprofen is toxic to the kidneys. Aleve is not a little more safer. Acetaminophen, it's quick acting. It's toxic to the liver. It's not an NSAID. So again, this is a little chart. I have a lot of people asking me, what's the difference? What should I take? My recommendation is always take something when you're in pain, not long term. And if you're gonna take something, I always recommend Aleve. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you the next time. Thank you. Hello, this is Dr. Juad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.